Hi folks, it's Brian. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly measure the impedance of the conductors in a live circuit using IDEAL's SureTest Circuit Analyzer here. And if you'd like to learn more about the circuit analyzer from IDEAL, it's our catalog number 61-164. So please contact our customer service department or take a look at the website to find a distributor nearby you that actually stocks the circuit analyzers. Now you use them, you're very simply going to plug the circuit analyzer into a live outlet using the one foot extension cord provided with the tester or you can purchase separately an extension cord with alligator clips on it that you can actually attach it to bare conductors again on a live circuit. Now the tester is going to indicate the polarity condition of the individual conductors when you first plug it in. So if you'll press the down arrow button four times you can now measure the impedance of the individual conductors in that circuit. And if you'll press the right arrow button, you can toggle between the three conductors and again measure the impedance of each conductor separately. Now, the impedance measured should be less than one ohm uh, as a general rule of thumb to ensure the full current has a sufficient path uh, back to an electrical panel. Now, the IEEE says the uh, ground impedance should be less than 0.25 ohms to ensure the ground conductor can safely return any fault current which could damage equipment on a circuit. And you know, devices like surge protection systems uh, will require a good ground is there to adequately protect any equipment from these transients over voltages that they're dealing with. Now, note that a small amount of current is going to be applied to the ground conductor to actually measure its impedance. And by the inherent nature of this test, any GFCIs on that circuit are going to trip, so uh, you're going to have to temporarily move those GFCI devices from that circuit. And if one conductor is significantly higher than the other conductors, the problem is the one conductor with a much higher impedance or resistance in it. So uh, you're going to check all the connections on that conductor back to an electrical panel to find, and find this high resistance point, which is usually just a, a bad connection someplace in that circuit. Now, if all impedances appear high, the source could be undersized wire for that length of cable that you're working with, could be a bad device, poor connections again in pigtails, devices, or back, again back into the electrical panel. And to learn more about uh, how Ideal SureTest Circuit Analyzer can help you uh, discover wiring problems in a building, contact our customer service department or again visit our website. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Rob with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you in the next one.